Hello, my name is Sean. Welcome to the channel. And you've seen the thumbnail. You know what we're going to be talking about today. And that's the new Chevy Corvette E Ray. Now, I made a video about this car's coming last year, um, trying to figure out what exactly was this car going to be. And discussing the name and how much I didn't like it. But now I understand why they named this the E Ray. Because. It's an electrified version of the Stingray. And electrified is the way that companies are now starting to say hybridization. So hybrid must be a taboo word amongst car manufacturers or something. So this is going to be a hybrid Corvette with the Stingray engine and that eight speed dual clutch transmission. So this car's engine makes 495 horsepower and gets 160 extra horsepower from the electric motor. Powering the front axle, making this the first all-wheel drive Corvette and the quickest Corvette ever with a 0-60 to 60 time of 2.5 seconds. So this 655 horsepower Corvette is reaching supercar levels of speed. So to accommodate this extra power and speed, they have given this car a wider body kit than the base Stingray. This car has the body kit of the Z06 with a wider rear tire. And because they want you to drive this car at any type of weather, this car does come equipped with all season tires, but Michelin Pilot Sports 4 SCP are available for this car. And if you're wondering, no, this is not a plug and play hybrid. This car builds its energy while driving. That's how they replenish the electric batteries for the motors. And because this car comes with an electric motor, it does have electric drive mode called stealth mode, which allows you to leave your neighborhood without waking up the neighbors, but it's only limited to a certain amount of speed and for a certain amount of time and is only front wheel drive. And if you were wondering, yes, you can use stealth mode to reverse out of your driveway. So there's really no worries there. Now that we got all that out the way, I am want to get my opinion about this car. I actually like the fact that this car has the rear end and arches of the Z06. I think that the wider body will make this car a little more menacing on the road and will distinguish it from the actual Stingray. Now that they've taken those black blades and made them a body color is perfection to me because I'm not really a fan of those black side blades on the Corvette. I think the Z06 blade design is better than the base Stingray, but I did want to see what it looked like with a body color or any other color than black. And it makes me wonder if they'll get rid of the body blade altogether for the ZR1. Another thing I find really interesting is the cost. This car's starting price is $102,000. That is $3,000 less than the Z06. So that makes you wonder where does the Z06 actually fit in the Corvette lineup? Well, the Z06 is supposed to be the track focused version of the Corvette. While the E-Ray is looking like a drag strip killer on the weekend and a grocery getter on the weekdays. Now y'all probably thinking that this is gonna be the most electrification we're gonna see for the C8 Corvette, but you'd be mistaken because there will be a full electric version of this car coming down the line when that car's coming i don't have a clue will it replace the zr1 i don't know we'll have to wait and see but until then this is looking pretty excellent for a hybrid car and let me tell you i wouldn't be mad if they came out with a hybrid version of the z06 because an extra couple hundred horsepower with that would make it one of the most powerful cars on the road today and it's surely one of the fastest so tell me, what do you think of this new E-Ray Corvette? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments. And with that said, I'd like to bring the video to a close. So if you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. If you want to see what I got planned next, come see what I got planned next. Got a lot of store for the channel. Really want you guys to be there with me. With that said, I'll catch you later.